All right, guys, let's get started. Good morning, everybody. Happy July 26th. How's everybody doing this morning? Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, I am so excited today. Uh, I woke up this morning and so many great things are happening. I mean, we'll get, today is Thursday, hump day, which is there's a lot of action going on. Obviously, you know, first thing we're gonna, it's going to affect all of us, we're going to check out is how awesome is the short on on facebook oh my god and you know what looking at this thing it was a screaming short um and uh, you know a lot of you got in here a little bit early in this morning you know you could have got the short into it listen the thing about the uh about the facebook short everyone's talking about it i mean uh, listen we saw the writing on the wall what was happening what, what facebook was doing but this is where options um are, are the best thing to do you know i'm not a big fan of options because why if you can't afford the stock then you can't if you can't afford to trade but there are certain times when you be like you know what i don't want to tie my but it's not even that you don't want to type the buying power you know you always focus on being a professional day trader first because that's what tells you what's going on with the market and um and then when you look at a stock like facebook and you say you know what see what's going on you know I it, it, there's a lot of there's a lot of scrutiny going on what they're doing I don't know you know what let me do a leap trade let me do a year trade and you know it's not gonna probably cost me that much and boom if you look at the options today dude you guys are killing it you know now you could have done a day trade option also which I know you know you could have done a day trade option but most importantly you could have shorted it right in the market um and it's doing great now what i'm looking at right here i'm just going to bring up a long-term chart i'm gonna look at yesterday so a lot of it happened you know right after hours okay and we all saw it you know how it happened uh stock got i mean look at that you know what's great about this is i want you guys to learn the most valuable lesson that you have to pull out and learn from what's going on with facebook is that you always hear people get you know say well you know they're not real companies first of all I don't know what the hell that means you know when you deal with stocks under 10 20 dollars five dollars people think you can't make any money with it or really how's this working out for you you know remember vrx so sometimes people think you got to spend a lot of money and you're like oh these are real companies well listen you don't think the stock can go to zero listen i saw it i saw it happen with ge i saw it uh, not ge but like general motors uh you know a lot of the banking stocks all of them now obviously it's not going to go to zero but listen i saw netflix we saw netflix go i saw netflix at, a, at 200 going down to 40 dollars you know so you know ignorance is uh, is blessed ken <laughs> well th that's why you always have to remember don't trust nothing okay don't trust nothing you know this is your money you work very hard for it and here you got it but anyway um i want to just talk about facebook really quick and just say listen there is a major support levels you could see here from yesterday after hours i mean this thing was trading going to to seven eight o'clock at night so you got some support levels right around here which looks like it, it wants to break it if it breaks this major support levels which is where it's holding right now it's going to drop all the way down to here i mean it's going it, to it's going to go probably all the way down to this you know buck 65 which it hit yesterday made a big bounce back but look at all i mean you got a lot of buyers out here remember focus on the matrix um but listen i'll be honest with you guys there's a lot better stocks to trade okay so it's going to be a fun little indicator you know i was looking at some of the other social network stocks like snapchat um really didn't make that much of an impact i mean it did come down a little bit um i looked at the twitter i mean twitter was a lot of fun yesterday we did pretty well on that twitter uh trade but you're eh, not really affecting it too much so it's in it's, it's in this league itself but listen i don't know i mean i don't trust these other other social networks and you got to be very careful because listen everyone always likes to copy the leader all right and you know i don't know what they're doing themselves but if something goes on you know it could affect those stocks with facebook you know, listen, if you guys are out there, whoever owns it, you better focus at that 165 yesterday. That was a huge major support level. If it breaks that, see ya. All right. Anyway, a lot better stocks there to trade. And let's talk about the biggest one right now. George just said, George just made 40 cents on the stock that I just told you this morning, you know, in pre-market. Let's give him a round of applause. All right. So anyway, that stock right there, guys, you know, we were trading this stock going all of all of last this week. 
in our advanced class. So what was that big winner? The WAX. Let's check out that baby. Beautiful stuff. Look at that chart. You tell me you don't want to trade stock like that, 220 to, uh, and went to 430. Look where it is now, 46, 480. This stock, let me tell you, for all you students out there or potential students, you better go back and watch the recording of, of the phase three class I just did. This stock was the, one of the easiest stocks that will teach you everything about high frequency trading we saw big block orders i mean i it was almost like are they are they like really kidding me are they really like going out there and showing you what they're doing but this stock we saw this go away from 260 and you know and it just thing just kept going and kept going now look at it i mean almost a double up 100 percent since since the beginning of the advance uh of phase three so anyway Stock is right back on, on the uh, on the books, you know, but everyone, like I said, Ken, Tom, all congratulating, you know, George making 40 cents just in pre-market, just in pre-market, which is great. I mean, I'm just excited about that. 40 cents, 1,000 shares, 400 bucks, $100,000 a year salary. Who wants it, doesn't want that one? And he basically probably enjoy the rest of the day off when it comes down to that. Anyway, that one also. But there's a lot of stocks, like I told you, I, I, from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. So, guys, don't get too over, you know, uh, focused on this Facebook trade because there are a lot of the ones that are going to make you money out there that we could trade. First, another one on the watch list is put this one uh, that I found, uh, TAOP, up 19%, 100,000 share stock. The stock took a really big hit. Uh, you can see here on the long-term chart, a lot of iceberg orders out there on the right-hand side. So you got good volume in it. You got everything you need. That one looks pretty good. Uh, Qualcomm. Okay, Qualcomm, another stock. Gapped up pretty big. Stock's been around for a while. Brand name stock. I thought Qualcomm was more money than that. I know the stock took such a big hit. Uh, but Qualcomm gapping up really, really nicely. You got, it's testing some resistance levels. A little bit more of a brand name. You can see it's got a resistance levels right here at, at 63.95 due to that big order out there. Remember, 70% of the orders are done by those high frequency trades. So you better follow the money, right? Uh, AMD, another one. Not only has been a good day trade, it's now becoming a very good swing trade. We've been watching this stock at ten dollars from April. Stock is up pretty big. You know, had a little bit of a, a little market maker shake right there uh, in the month of you know uh, uh, of June and July. Starting to break out of that major resistance. It breaks this high, guys. The stock can really go off to the races. But um, once again, another brand name stock which you got to be careful of. Not as nice as the other one. All right, a couple other ones uh, you want to see. This is um, this is stocks getting crushed at their best. All right, so everybody, like I said, day, this is what day trading teaches you how to be pre prepared for a swing trade. Look at this one right here, SCON. We've seen the stock in the past. We watched it. You know, and you could have seen the trickle down. I mean, look at the trend. You, The writing was on the wall. Some people are like, well, it's at $8. Maybe it will come back tomorrow. Next thing you know, you're down $1. twenty. Come in the next morning, eh, maybe it will come back six fifty. dollars Now you're down to 5 You're like, oh, my God, I should have sold it two days ago. Wake up this morning, boom, you're at 2 You're still not satisfied? So this is why it's very dangerous to hold overnight positions. And, um, you know, not that we're going to trade it. Because obviously news is pretty damn bad when it comes to something like this. So I, that's what I'd be careful of. But I just want to kind of bring that up. Another one that also is getting a nice little major correction here. Uh, but I, one thing I do like about this stock, it's actually holding at support levels. MOSY. So let's keep an eye on this one. Look at that. After a year, all that work. And now, boom, it's right at support levels. So, you know, actually it's holding pretty strong right there. A couple other ones. The ones I like a little bit better. That look like a little bit better trades. Uh, some of you already probably saw the CNHI. Great pre-market. Nice little pop. The stock was $15. Been hovering here for a while, right around 10 It's gapping up pretty nicely. Look at these orders right here, guys. Big, big, big orders. CNHI. Just be very careful of those iceberg orders. See where, where they're going out. Um, but it is gapping up pretty nicely. NGO is another one that I found this morning in pre-market. Doing pretty well. Uh, what happened in type it wrong? Uh, I spelt it wrong. I'm sorry. N G D. There you go. Wrote it wrong. There you go. N N D G. Another one that could be a little bit of a bottom fish right here. It did. It just had a little bit of a rubber band snap right here. You can see it uh, in the pre market right there. So kind of makes me a little interested. Stock. You know. You know. I'm a fan of bottom fishing. I love stocks that get crushed because what that does for what that tells me is. You always get these brokers that call up their clients, tell them to average down, and obviously they make that commission. They don't care. Desperate people average down. They think it's going to come back. 
you know, and uh, that's what ends up happening. So there's the other one. But the AWX, man, that was awesome. That was really awesome. Uh, we learned a lot from that one in class. I want you to keep an eye on that one. But a lot of you guys are already doing pretty well. But getting back to that Facebook, I'll tell you. There you go. Looks like it just broke uh, broke that 171 pre-market. Great short. Listen, if you really, really, really want to see what it feels like to trade a stock like a Facebook, do what I always say. Trade one share and see how that works out for you. Okay? Just be very careful. This stock is going to be chaotic. Chaotic. And let me tell you something. From where, how it's trending, not really looking too good for Facebook. I think they said, uh, I think I saw on uh, on one of the channels, hold on, before we go, um, hold on, let me just bring this up. Uh, where is it? I just saw, yeah, right here, Facebook. Uh, let me just bring this up, this is pretty cool. Okay, Facebook saw a one point one hundred and fifty billion dollars single day loss. Look at that! Wow, that's crazy. One hundred fifty dollar route could rewrite history books. That's pretty bad, huh? One hundred and fifty billion. <laughs> Talking about a haircut. Just trade one share, right, Ken? Just trade one share if you want to know what it's like. But you know what? Oh, at the end of the day. Let's focus on making money uh, at the end of the day. Sometimes these are good indicators, and that's, and that's what it's all about. So with that said, everyone, tomorrow's Friday. It's starting to get really nice here. It's going to be a beautiful week uh, weekend. A lot of people are going to start going away here in New York City to enjoy the weekend out in the Hamptons. So you're going to get a lot of action. Don't anticipate it being that volatile tomorrow. I mean, you hear stuff like this, and you hear what happened yesterday with the tariffs. Oh, almost forgot. How could I forget this? Has the fiat trade going on? We had a lot of fun trading that yesterday after the tariff announcement, you know, uh, and we and the stock taking a little bit of a a little bit of a hit. We're doing pretty. I'm doing pretty good on that swing trade yesterday, also. And I said that in class too. So another thing, when you come and you get in class, I showed you very, 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 very rarely, rarely. I probably say maybe once a month, I might consider doing a swing trade, uh, holding it overnight. And it's done to design, and this was one of them. And guess what? It worked out perfectly. So uh, definitely look at the uh, class two and review and see why I did hold that trade. I'm doing pretty well on that. All right, guys. Anything else before we go? Uh, Tom gave a very big warning on fang, um, FAG, uh, fang stocks at the Chicago Money Show. He did, Dana. Well, Tom Sosnoff is a very good friend of mine. I know him very well. You know, he comes on our show all the time here at CTU. And, uh, you know, listen, he's uh, he, he watches the market as close as we do. So, you know, definitely take that in consideration. He actually was actually a big fan of Facebook. And when the stock went from 80 down to 40, he went all in and he told everybody, listen, I met the guy. It's great. It's a great company. And uh, look where it is today. You know, 100 uh, went to 220, you know, so. There's, but there's always looking about taking profits. All right, guys. Uh, listen, I know we, we're running a little late. I want you guys to get ready to get your coffee. Market opens in 15 minutes. Let's go out there and make some money today, all right? Let's work together like a team. Traders, see something, say something. All you new, uh, new members that are here, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully you see if it's for you. And if it's not, that's okay because it's not for everyone. But always remember, you have to learn before you can earn. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.